is improperly parked on the yellow brick road. He is getting a parking ticket. Hey guys, what's up? Alicia Alady here and welcome back to One Life. I'm here with Joey today because we have an amazing discovery to share with you all. Oh yes, we have, Lizzie. We've both been doing research on the mods and we found something called spring water. It's a type of liquid that generates very rarely in very few biomes, but if you stand in it, it gives you regen. So today we are going on a mission to find it. We'll never need golden apples again! Oh, I can't wait! Now, fortunately, when I was on my quest for bunnies, I actually passed an Alps biome not that far away from all of our houses. So Joey went off on a mission to find the sacred spring Spring water within the Alps. And guess what? We found it. Where is it, Joey? Is this all a prank? Is there no spring water? <gasps> spring water! It regened all my hearts, Joey. It's oh. magnificent. <laughs> now the bad news is you can't collect the spring water in a bucket, which means we have to somehow lead the water all the way home. So we decided to make a giant water slide, which turned out to be the most terrifying and dangerous thing I've ever done in one life. But after three long hours, it was complete. All right, everyone. So it's been about three hours later, and um, we're finally hitting land, Lizzie! This is insane. We should go and release the water and make sure that it actually gets all the way here. That would be fun. Come on, let's go. Yeah. We've got a long walk. Shall I unleash the water on you? Oh my gosh. No, I want to be there for <laughs> it. Wait, are we going to take the water down with it, or are we going to have to run in front of it? I'll unleash it, and you can outrun it. Wait, what? <laughs> no. Okay, are you ready? Okay. Oh, we should should we get boats? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, no, what if it falls off? I'm scared. I'm I feel more confident with my body. You're totally right. That's a silly idea. Let's not use boats. <laughs> okay, you go first. Okay, ready? <laughs> Whee! Oh, the regenerating effect is so beautiful. Mm. Okay, let's see if it does the corner. It does. Perfect. <laughs> wow, we did it. Okay, we got it all the way close to people's houses, but we still have to get it close to our houses, which are a little further over that way. Okay, here we go. It was actually a lot easier to get the water to my new house than it would have been to get to my old house. As you can see, the aqueduct is right there. It's a little unsightly, but I'm sure we will get over it. Oops, I am going for a ride, I guess. So as you can see, the aqueduct actually goes all the way underground, all the way to Joey's house. But this is my stop outside my house. Now I could just occasionally dip in the stream for a little bit of regen every now and then, but I thought it'd be really cool to build a spa so that I can come here whenever I need a little bit of pampering. And I can even charge the other players money to come and visit my spa too. So I'm going to build a spa building right here and the stream will come into the middle of it. And I really want to build it out of ethereal planks. But the problem is that ethereal planks aren't actually available in this version of the mod. However, they are in the creative menu. So Scott has put a shop at spawn where we can buy them. So I'm going to go check the price and see how much it would cost. <gasps> Hang on. Is that another shop that has appeared next to mine? Oh my goodness! Whose shop is this? Joel's little shop? Oh, how adorable! He's selling blaze rods. That's cute. I don't need those anymore. <laughs> Actually, I will still need potions. What the heck? The villagers are overtaking. Uh, can I help you guys? <gasps> Did you farm my plants? I can't believe you've done this. Anyway, so the shop that sells the ethereal planks is at spawn. So although Scott is the one that set up the shop, he is actually not profiting from the sales at all. So we can buy it for six gold blocks, six diamond blocks, or four quartz blocks. Now let's go and see what we have at home. And I think 32 of the logs will be able to get us two stacks of 64 planks. So we might need to purchase quite a few in order to build this entire building. But we shall see. Okay, why are there suddenly loads of villagers everywhere? This one is trying to get at my crops. Oh no, you don't, Mr. Fletcher. Are there any within the confines? <gasps> this villager is after my wheat. He's been planting things. Stop you. Okay, so we happen to have quite a lot of diamonds. And we also have quite a lot of gold. So I think gold is the thing that I'm most willing to give up. I quite like my diamonds. Maybe we'll give up some diamonds as well. So let's see how many diamonds we can make. Okay, there we go. That's six blocks. Let's make six blocks of the gold as well. Ta-da! Oh, that's seven. Whoops. Okay, well, I guess we'll make a few more. There. Now we should be able to buy loads. So let's take these back to the shop and purchase. The ah! 
Where did you come from? What the heck? Whoa, that was close. It's a good job I had this little spring right here in case it took any damage. <laughs> anyway, let's go to the shop and see if we can buy some. So let's purchase these with my diamonds and let's get some more with the gold. And that should be plenty. I really hope we don't need more because that's going to start getting expensive. So now all we need to do is build this thing. So let's start making these into planks. Oh my gosh, we are gonna have plenty, I'm sure. So I've diverted a little branch off this direction towards my house and this will be where we start. So this is gonna be the outline of the shape. The pool will come in right here and flood this area. So all we need to do now is build it up. Okay, I think we might even have some of the ethereal planks left over because I think I'm finished with them. We have made the basic shape of the building and now all we need to do is put a roof on this thing. But I want to make the roof out of magic wood. So hopefully I still have some left. Oh yes, plenty. So let's swap these out and get to work on the roof. Ooh, I love the colors. This is very mermaidy. So let's start at the top. Hopefully I don't fall, although I do have Feather Falling 8, so if I do, I should be okay. I still don't want to test that though. Now we should probably also make sure we have some torches up here so that we don't get some mobs spawning. Perfect! Alright, I really like the shape of that. I think it's really cute. It's like a fairy house. And now, oh, we need some torches on the inside of here. And then I want to do some decorating on the outside before I go inside, so we need some windows right here. And then I want to do another star on the front of the building, just like on my house. Except this time, I'm gonna try and make it out of a really cute block called Peridot. I've mined up quite a lot of it while I was doing my strip mining, except I didn't realize there was a use for it. I only have six, so I can't even make one block of it so far, but I'm hoping that soon I will have enough. So we might need to go find some more, but let me show you what it looks like. Ta-da, how cute is that? Oh, I love it. It's gonna fit right in with my theme. What is my theme? I don't know. Fairies? Mermaids? Who cares? But first of all, I want to make some windows. So let's grab some glass and some dye. Let's try light blue. So we'll make the glass and then make the panes. Now let's see how this looks. Ta-da! Ooh, I like it. Very cute. Now let's run and hide because it's starting to get a little bit dark. And I don't like the dark in one life. It's very scary. Okay, next I think we are going to need a front door. And I think the one that would look the best is this willow door. It's a beautiful green color, but we need some willow wood. I'm pretty sure that there is a willow forest near Joel. So I'm gonna head this way and see if I can find it. Okay, this does not look very much like a willow. Oh, hang on. Is that a willow tree? Let's chop it down and see. This is willow wood. Yeah, okay, we found one. Perfect. There we go. Now I don't think we need anything else from over here. So let's head back home before it starts getting dark. I can tell I'm getting close to home now because of this ugly aqueduct. Now I am going to craft the door of my dreams. Here we go. Oh, I've made three of them. Let's see how it looks. Oh, cute. I think that will look really nice when we get the rest of the peridot in. At the moment it looks a little bit weird, I will admit, but I know it's gonna look better very soon. Now we just need to figure out where to get more of the peridot from so we can make the star. So apparently according to the wiki, peridot ore can be found in grassland biomes. So we're going to need to go underground to my brand new naked strip mine and head that way towards the flower field. Okay, we found something that is amber ore and they are found in woodland biomes. So we are definitely in the wrong place. So let's carry on this way even further. At least we have fortune on the pickaxe so we'll get extra ore. Okay, we're under the river now so we should be getting to the flower forest. Oh, we, we are here. <gasps> yes, we found our first little blob of peridot. Now I have 10. Let's keep going. Okay, I've come to the conclusion that I do not have time to get all this peridot. So I'm going to trade with some of the other players and hopefully get enough to finish the star because I only managed to mine 19. So Joel is gonna trade some to me for eight diamonds. So let's grab all my diamonds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oops, there's an extra one just for good luck. So let's head over to his house and make the trade. Wow, his house is looking very fortified lately. How will I ever get in? Oh, there's a cute little gate here. There he is, hello. Joel, hello. I'm ready to trade. Here are the diamonds, give me the gems. Oh, I got an achievement for giving him diamonds. Okay, so now we have 53. We probably need to trade with a few more people before we'll have enough, but at least we can start. 
So I've also managed to secure a deal with CPK who also has some Peridot. So I'm gonna offer him a Sapphire and an Amber since he might not have those. Sounds good for me unless you have any fairy lights lying around. So let's go and take him the two gems and some fairy lights and we shall take all of his Peridot. So here we are at CPK's house for the first time ever, hello. Let's give him the Amber and the Sapphire and the fairy lights. And he has showered me with Peridot, thank you very much. Now we have 62. Oh my goodness, Scott's here. I want to trade with him too. Let's see, I don't really have anything I can give him though. He wants diamonds. I don't have any on me. Let's go and get them. What's he on about? <gasps> Scott has a car? What? What if he crashes and we die? Okay, well, I guess we'll try. You better drive safe, Scott. Come on, let's go. Before I change my mind. This doesn't feel safe. Scott is a terrible driver. What's going on? I'm not a huge fan of Scott's driving. This is so cool. Okay, we're here. Now, how many diamonds do you want? Ugh, okay, he wants a full stack of diamonds. And I don't have any room to negotiate, so here you go. What a ripoff, Scott. You are a little scam artist. Get out of here. Ugh, I feel so ripped off. He's locked up in my house. <laughs> okay, now let's see how much Peridot we can make. Hopefully we can make enough to make the star at least. Yes. Oh my gosh, I actually don't think we have quite enough. Ugh, let's count how many blocks this star is. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, we've made 12, so we're making progress. Okay, this is gonna look so cute when it's finished. We just need two more blocks. I'll put dirt there for now. <laughs> it looks like the star's wearing little dirty boots. I think it'd also be really cool to do a frame around this door here. So let's replace that with dirt for now so that we can see. This is what it could look like. Ooh, oh yes, I like it. Very cute. I'll see if anyone else can trade, but in the meanwhile, I'm gonna work on the interior. So we definitely need an alternative flooring to this grass, dirt, and stone. Let's go see if we have any blocks left over. Oh, <gasps> Scott left his car here. How rude. Oh, you know what? He is improperly parked on the yellow brick road. He is getting a parking ticket. Let's go and write out this parking ticket and put it right here so he won't miss it. And then in the chest, I'm gonna put a book and quill. So let's make this and we can write out the parking fine. Parking violation. This vehicle is illegally parked. Blocking the road. Date, 29th of July, 2017. Location, Mermaid Palace. Issued by Lizzie. Your fine is 32 diamonds. And on the next page, I'm gonna write Failure to pay fine will result in your vehicle being impounded. That'll scare him. Now let's put this in the chest and get my diamonds back off that scammer. Now I just need to finish off this and I will be happy. Let's see, how can we make this look really nice and magical? Oh, I know, instead of having planks or stone, we should try and get the flowering grass blocks. These blocks look so pretty. It would definitely add to the fairy-esque feel we have in here. So all we need to do is relocate the flower biome and use my silk touch spade to grab some of it. So I know the coordinates are 328 minus 1780. So it's quite far away, but definitely worth it. So let's grab some wood so that I can make a boat and we will get there by water. Which is good because I think boats are definitely the safest way to travel in Minecraft. Okay, we're almost there. It's just a few hundred blocks that way. And we can collect all the grass we desire. Yes, there it is. Perfect timing too because it's starting to get dark. Let's just get some grass and get out of here. Oh my gosh, there's so much of it. I'm going to get a whole stack. Okay, we should probably stop now. It's getting dark and I don't want to be too greedy because getting greedy is how people die in movies. This mission was a lot safer than I thought it would be. Oh my gosh, I'm riding past where my old house used to be. It's so empty now. How sad is this? Oh, I miss it. But at least now we're close to the spring. Oh well, onward we go to our new home. I think we might actually be able to get all the way there if we just follow the river along. Oh, hang on a second. On second thoughts, maybe we'll just walk the rest of the way. Okay, now all we have to do is replace the ground of the spa with this flowering grass block instead. So let's get rid of this beautiful plank that I just put down and put these down instead. <gasps> yes, doesn't that look so much more magical? Now this whole place looks like a magical fairy grotto. I love it. Now some people say that less is more, but I don't think that's true with flowers. I think we need some flowering vines all on these walls. I think that would look so cute. So let's go and see how many we've got left. 
We have 64, so let's just start spamming them all over the walls. And then when they eventually grow, I'm sure they will look wonderful. There we go. Now they're covering pretty much every wall in the room. So let's get rid of this and we'll leave them to do their thing while we get some fairy lights. And not just any fairy lights, I want to make some of these flower ones. So I want to make pink. Oh my goodness! What? We need blue orchids, dandelions and poppies just to make four? Do I have any of those? I don't have any blue orchids. Oh dear. I saw some back at the swamp. I guess we have to go get them. Okay, I see the swamp just over there. So where are the flowers? Oh, here they are. I'm gonna get them all so I can make many, many flower lights. Okay, we've got 21, so I think that is plenty. Let's head home again and collect the dandelions and the poppies on the way. Now let's craft these stupid things. So I wanna make pink, orange, and cyan. So we're just gonna need pink, orange, and cyan dye. And let's just make one batch of each. There we go, got the orange, we've got the cyan, and we got the pink. And now to complement those colors, I want to make a green fairy light. So we're gonna need three iron, a green dye, and a glass pane. So let's make two lots of those, and then we can craft the string. There we go, let's test this out. Yes, how cute is that? Now let's go put these in the magic fairy water room. So I'm gonna start them right here and make them join up in the middle of the wall and make a triangle with them. What do you think? I think that will look so cute when all the vines have grown in. Let's put this spare string of lights around the side here. Right there, looking good. And then we should definitely put some flowers on this grass to decorate it. So let's see what we've got. We've got my favorite lavenders. Let's get a couple of those. Oh, the blue milk caps, they're so cute. Let's put some of them down. The icy iris are cute. And so are the pink daffodils. And these golden rods are cool as well. So let's put a variety of flowers. See how this looks. Oh my gosh, this looks so cute already. You know, I think we need more flowers. Let's grab some of these four leaf clovers and the short grass and stuff and start putting some of that in to make it look a little bit more natural. Okay, I think we have enough stuff in here now. It is looking very cute. All we need to do is finish off the star and the border around the door and it's complete and ready for visitors. Now, like Joey said, we are gonna charge people for use of the pool since we risked our lives getting this water over here. So I have decided to ask for a gem of some kind. So I'm gonna put a little hopper here to collect all of the loot and people can give either a diamond or some gold or a sapphire or a peridot or something. I'll take anything as long as it's shiny. So let's first of all craft a little hopper to plop this in place over here. So I'm gonna put a chest below it to collect everything. There we go. And maybe we need a sign as well, telling people what we want. If you'd like to enter, please put a gem in the hopper. I accept peridot, sapphire, emerald, diamond, topaz, amber, and malachite, gold ingot, and tanzanite. Please honor this arrangement. So hopefully that is really simple and people understand how it works. Obviously, this isn't like the vending box, there's no way to officially do it, but I'm just hoping that everyone on this server is nice and kind. So the last thing that I want to do today is show Joel and see what he thinks of it. So Joel just gave me enough Peridot to finish off the star, and now I'm going to show him what it is. Are you ready? Please put a gem in the hopper. I accept Peridot, Sapphire, Emerald, Downward. I haven't got any of these, Lizzie. That's okay, I'll let you one free entrance since you helped okay. me with the Peridot. What do you Ooh. think? Oh, it's very pretty. Yeah, Ooh, you like, like it? Yeah, it looks nice. I know what this is, I think. Yeah? It heals me, right? You like that sweet regen? Yeah, that's some good regen. I'm, I'm full hearts now. Do you know what it was the whole time? Someone commented on my video saying... Oh, what did you say? Okay, so that is it for this episode of One Life. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like and let me know what you think of my magical fairy room. And I will see you next time.